Hi, welcome to the numeracy five day answers for the 5th of May. If you need a hint on one particular question, feel free to pause the video now and jot down the video number on corporate miles, which might help you. Otherwise, I'm going to go through all the answers now. So our first question. Our first question says, right, 7,826 correct to the nearest 10. So let's think of the multiples of 10 that are below and above that number. So the multiple of 10 below would be 7,820 and above it would be 7,830. And if we were to think where 7,826 would be, well, the number in the middle is 7,825. So 7,826 would be around about there. So it's closer to 7,830. Our next question, write 7,828 to the nearest 100. So the multiples of 100 below and above it. So that would be 7,800 or 7,900. Now, if you were to think where this number would be, well, it's much closer because it's 7,826. It's much closer to 7,800 than it is to 7,900. So the answer would be 7,800. Our next question. Our next question is a time question, and it says the time on Fiona's watch is 4.25 p.m. Write 4.25 in 24-hour time. So because it's going to be 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it's going to be 1,600, and then... 25 minutes. So the answer would be 16.25. Okay, and our next question. Our next question says, how many minutes are there in three hours? So you could do this by adding up 60 plus 60 plus 60, because there's 60 minutes in an hour and three hours, just adding them together to get 180. Or you could do 60 multiplied by three, six times three is 18, adding on the zero, 180. Okay, our next question. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, Ricky has 15 10 pence pieces and 15 5 pence pieces. What is the total value of his coins? So I'm going to multiply 15 by 10, and then I'm going to multiply 15 by 5, and add those two together and see what the total amount of money he has. So first of all, 15 multiplied by 10. So that's going to be 150. That's quite nice. Our next question, 15 multiplied by 5. So 15 multiplied by 5, I suppose we could just half that number because 15 times 5 is half of 15 times 10, so that would be 75. Alternatively, 15 times 5, 5 times 5 is 25, so put the 5 down, carry the 2, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, so that would be 75 pence. And adding them together, 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 7 is 12, so put the 2 down, carry the 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2, so the total value of his coins would be £2.25p. And our last question. Our last question is a bar chart question. And it says, create a tally chart and draw a bar chart for this this information. So we've got our colors. Let's do our tally chart. So let's write color. And we've got color. We've got red. We've got green. We've got blue. And we've got white. And then I'm going to write down tally and then frequency. Okay, now as I'm going through this, I'm going to be crossing them out. So cross, and I would do that in pencil if I was if I was you on the page. So red, cross that out. That's one. Green, red, blue, red, red. Now we've got another red. So that's number five. So we're going to go across. Blue, white, red, blue, white. Green, blue, red, and red. So our frequencies are, well, it's going to be 8, 2, 4, and 2. And I'm just going to check these out up to the right number. So 8 plus 2 is equal to 10, plus 4 is 14, plus 2 is 16. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16 sets. So that's, that's probably right. Okay, so we're going to draw a bar chart now. So our bar chart, we're going to put our colors down on the horizontal axis. So that's going to be red. So I'm going to do two bars and leave a gap of one, or two squares and a gap of one. Next, green. So that's going to be there, leaving a gap of one. Blue will be there, leaving a gap of one. And white will be there. Now get a ruler and pencil. And our frequency. Our frequency needs to go up to eight. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our first bar for red will go up to eight. So we'll go up to eight and across, we'll leave a gap of one. Next, green, so green will go up to two, across and down. Next is blue, blue goes up to four, so up to four, across and down. And finally, white will go up to two, so we'll go up to two, across and down. And that's it, that's our bar chart.